Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm Enrique. This is uh, Halloween Drawings. Uh, today we're this is my I'm mixed up. Sorry. Uh, this is my favorite month of the year. I love Halloween. I love everything about it. The spirit of Halloween, uh, dressing up, uh, pumpkins, all that stuff. It's amazing. I love it. So uh, this channel is dedicated entirely to Halloween drawings. If you guys do like learning to draw things from Halloween, whether they be realistic or whether they be more simplistic and cute, uh, this is going to be a cute one today, by the way. Uh, if you guys like all this that stuff, please hit that subscribe button and also that little bell icon because it will notify you when a video comes in. Although this month is going to be real easy. I'm posting a video every single day, sometimes twice a day. So check it out. So let's get started. Today we're drawing candied corn, candy corn, candied corn, wow, candy corn. And uh, we're gonna be using this marker right here and then a few colored pencils. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about the colored pencils as I bring them in, but right now this is a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T -T artist pen big brush. Something I bought at Michael's. You can buy it off the internet. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, like, uh, these are, I don't know if there's, Michael's is statewide, like countrywide, but, uh, Basically any art store will have this marker. I like it because it doesn't have a horrible, nasty, toxic smell that all of those markers have. Not all of them, but specifically Sharpies have this really god-awful smell. And and that smells bad for you over time. Over time that smell is horrible for you. Um, but yeah, this one doesn't really have that. Unless it's like something I can't smell and I'm, I'm inhaling it anyway, which that would suck. But let's get going. I doubt it. I doubt it, guys. I doubt it. Um, So we're drawing a cat, uh, uh, candy corn in a cat outfit, kind of like for Halloween. Cute stuff. Starting with that top crest. Making that triangle. And that's gonna be the biggest stroke of the entire drawing. If you just do that decently, that's gonna, that's gonna uh, be, this is gonna support the rest of your drawing basically. So. Uh, kind of be aware of that. And then we are, let me see. I don't want to do this. I do like the, I like those upside down U signs, but oh, man, I can't do those every single time, right? Dot. Dot for the eyes. Just straight up dot. Little, uh, I'm gonna draw the actually the little nose here, little cat nose. Kind of that upside down triangle, but a little bit round. I'm gonna leave it open in the middle, pull down, a little cat face. Smiley. And then I'm gonna draw little whiskers coming out. And then I'm gonna go up to the top and draw cat ears. The cat ears are pretty simple. They're just kind of tri triangles on themselves, kind of rounded out on one edge. I usually pick one side and round it out on. And then I'm gonna draw the tail. It's just a line with a thickened edge over here. A little bit, uh, the, the far end is a little bit thicker than the rest of the tail. So now I'm gonna do is, uh, I, I should wait for this to dry, but I, I don't really have time for that uh, with the video. I guess I could do a cut, but nah, let's just go right into it. I'm gonna divide it into three, the candy corn uh, colors. I'm gonna do the yellow first. I was using the orange there. I'm gonna do the bottom part, which is the yellow, orange, white, right? Yellow, orange, white, yellow, orange, white, yellow, orange, white. So that's the colors of the candy corn. I like, what is that again? Yellow, orange, white. Yellow, orange, white. I always remember that, because some people mix them up. I mix them up a lot too, to be honest. So I kind of say that to remember it. Yellow, orange, white, okay. And... I'm gonna do the yellow part because the yellow part appears on paper not so great, you know? Oh 
man, I broke the uh, lead here. I'm gonna try to use this with my finger. You know, use the piece of lead between my fingers and just kind of... Use that. And then, uh, I don't know why yellow it doesn't appear so well. I need new colored pencils, I noticed. Um, sharpening, by the way, the sharpening noise. Somebody said there's a chainsaw, but it's sharpening. Whew. All right, so let's go in here to the orange. I could more or less go over the black if it's dry. If it's not, I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna leave the nose out there because I want to color that some other color. Ah, oh, snap. Same thing. Ah. Oh. Lead fell off. These Crayola brand colored pencils are not so great, but they'll do the job. I need to sharpen my pencil again. <laughs> I can't. I can't just use a lead on that. Grab the pink colored pencil for the nose. Cat nose, I want it to be pink. I wanted it to differentiate from the black of everything else. And that's pretty much it. See, it's super easy. You can draw this no matter who you are. If you're not a, an artist, if you don't consider yourself an artist, um, or you consider yourself not too good, you can do this. Really simple. Uh, and you can also do whatever you want with it. It's a lot of flexibility. You can make different kinds of cat ears. You can uh, maybe make a bigger tail, or you know, there's all there's all different ways that you can change this up uh, for yourself. But you have at least this little baseline to do it. And you know, go out there and create, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, remember, like I said, if you guys like Halloween, uh, learning to draw Halloween related material, please hit that like, I'm sorry, hit that subscribe button and then uh, that bell icon to subscribe. Also press that like button if you did like this and if it was understandable and clear. Uh, thank you so much guys, I'll see you tomorrow.